Hello and welcome to another Blue Rooms guide. This time we're going to be covering how to create a mix group. In this episode we're going to cover creating an auxiliary track, assigning a bus to an auxiliary track, assigning the output of the mix group, assigning tracks to a mix bus, and making tracks solo safe. Here I have a finished mix group I made for my bass guitar channels. Having a mix group allows me to control the volume of all my bass tracks as well as process them as one piece of audio. As you can hear, the mix group fader lowers the volume for all of my bass tracks. Now we're going to go through how to set up a mix bus using these drum tracks. An AUX input track works similarly to an audio track, however it cannot host waveform clips and must be sent audio from other sources like audio tracks. As demonstrated when I tried to move this audio clip down into the AUX channel. To create an auxiliary track, go to the menu bar at the top of the screen, click track and then click new. Alternatively, you can use the keyboard shortcut command shift n. Now we are within the create track window. Select the number of tracks you wish to create I'm going to be creating one, then set the channel format, here for mix buses we'll be using stereo, and then set the track type for aux input. Click create and the channel has been made. Now we need to name the track so it can be easily identified. To do this, double click on the track name and the renaming window opens. Simply type in the name you wish to use, I'm going to use drum bus, hit OK and the track has been renamed. Now that we've created an auxiliary track, we are ready to begin setting up our mix group. Next, we're going to look at how to assign an input to our aux track. As we are using an aux track as a mix group, all of our audio is coming from other places within Pro Tools instead of a physical input from the real world. Therefore, we need to use a bus. To assign a bus to the input of an aux track, go to the aux track in the mix window, click on the input I.O and select a relevant unused bus. As you can see, buses highlighted in orange are already being used. Now we have selected a bus, we need to rename it to make it easily identifiable. To do this, right click on the bus and click rename. Within the rename dialog, simply type in the name you wish to use. Once again, I'm going to be using drum bus. Hit OK and the bus has been renamed. Now we have assigned a bus to the input of our aux track, we must also assign a physical output to it. We are assigning an output as opposed to a bus because we want to send the audio out of Pro Tools into the real world so we can hear it. To do this, go to the aux track in the mix window, click on the output I.O and assign it to a relevant output. I've selected output 1 and 2. This sends the audio out of Pro Tools to the first two outputs on my audio interface. Now we have set up the aux track, we must send audio to it. To do this, we are going to change the output of our audio tracks to the drum bus. This is called assigning tracks to a mix group. Within the mix window, go to the audio track you wish to add to the mix group. Click on the output I.O. and select the bus you have assigned to the aux track. If you have multiple tracks to assign, shift click to select the range of tracks you are using. Then select the relevant bus whilst holding down SHIFT plus ALT. Using SHIFT plus ALT assigns the same output to all selected tracks. What we have done here is send audio down the bus to our auxiliary track. Finally, we're going to take a look at making tracks solo safe. Our mix bus is almost completely set up. In fact, if I hit play, audio from the audio tracks will be routed to the drum bus where it can be processed before being outputted from Pro Tools. However, if I solo a track within the mix group, the auxiliary fader will become muted and no sound will be audible. To prevent this, we must use something called solo safe. To make a track solo safe, command click on the solo button and the solo button becomes greyed out. Now, solo safe is preventing the drum bus from being muted by soloing another track. Whilst in solo safe mode, it is still possible to manually mute a track 
as well as Solo, a solo safe track. Now our mix group has been completely set up and is ready to be used. Thank you for watching this Blue Room's guide from the University of Huddersfield. Today we covered creating an auxiliary track, assigning a bus to the auxiliary track, assigning the output of the mix group, assigning tracks to a mix bus, and making tracks solo safe. Remember to like, comment and subscribe and follow us on Facebook, Twitter and YouTube.